Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to probably the last Deadman Mode video. We got 20 hours and 17 minutes left on the tournament, and we start this episode off on 150,000. 531 points. I'm currently ranked 24 and the goal is to maintain a top 25 position. However, the competition is very close and I'm gonna start a video off by going straight for points. There are still a lot of tasks I can do, but I believe I'm gonna try and do corp at the very beginning of this video. So let's get right into it. So just to double check, I'm going with Swash Titanium Restoration, yeah? Yep. No way the core went there. Oh, I failed the CA. <laughs> oh, I think the, I We're doing two core... kills. I think it's pretty good points. No, it's like 35 points per kill. Is it actually? Yeah. Oh, there's Rot scouted us. There's no way. Oh, no. Wait, he didn't even school, by the way. He just barraged the corp. Just got back in, bro. Oh, they are tapping out, bro. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. just kill it fast and deep, hurry my up, guy. Hurry up, Fucking bring oh, him down, bring him shit. down. Oh, shit. How many points? Big. Okay, well, a kill is a kill. Like, it's pretty good, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little, yeah, yeah. little yeah. in and out action. We'll, we'll take that. No Some way. Hit me at Edgeville. Gigamax. There's a guy here. Where? On the spider with me. Oh. Just got Venenaris Adept. And... I've killed nine. I guess that's 10 KC in combined, right? Both. Because you did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, makes sense, makes sense. All right, then. We managed to get an elite casket. Can we get a master? Can we get a mimic? <gasps> Oi! We got a ranger's tunic. It's kind of trash, but... Why am I excited for, for this? It's fucking garbage. This shit gets deleted, like, later, man. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Oh, hell no rots on me. Oh, wow. Right, let me dip in the caves. Hold up, I need to like actually lock in here. Splashed. Nice, I got him. Nice. Okay, hard beating, sleep deprivation paused for a bit. Oh my goodness. All right, I mean, I had so much food left. I'm chilling. Oh, I just got fangs of venenatus. I don't know how good this is, uh, but we'll take it. But how many PKers are actually gonna come? Could have actually killed him even. I'm gonna fight him. Okay, we'll go now. Oh, I could have played this better and utilized the spider to probably force it, like... Uh, I think I could have killed him if I played differently. Oh, the guy is on me yeah, again, by works. the way. Hold on, hold on, let me lock in here. This time he's not gonna be ready, though. Okay, he has Void Waker. He wasted one spec already. Oh my god. I'm losing to fucking spider, bro. Don't lose to the spider, man. Hmm. Not landing any freezes on him right now. He 
He's just camping mage prey, very interesting. And we're out again. Yeah, this guy won't let me breathe though, so I'm probably doing something else. Alright, well, we go again. I just need one more KC. And there we go, that should be the last CA we needed from here. Beautiful, fully completed. Let's move on to the next boss now. Hmm, another PK on me, let's see if I can fight this guy maybe. Good fight, brethren. 151,000 points is where I am right now, and we are sending some grotesque guardians. Now, originally, they don't seem like a task worth doing, but then you check 15 combat achievements coming in this. And if I complete all of this somehow, some way, we get massive point boost. Now, the most annoying one to complete is to just kill it 20 times in a row without leaving the instance. This is what we want to hard focus on. Speedrun tasks, we hope, will happen just naturally. I didn't bring Thralls and I didn't bring Vengeance, which I regret a little bit, but that's okay. And then we also have the perfect Grotesque Guardians. I tend to always not do great on the perfect tasks, so whenever we finish that one, we'll be very happy. And everything else should be very completable, so let's just go ahead and start doing this. Oh, we're hitting big. Oh my god, we're hitting big. What the hell? Okay, let's take a look. 151.3. Let's see how many points we get for one kill of these. Oh, it's nice. It's nice, it's nice, it's nice. Obviously, we haven't gotten the speed task done yet. But look at this. Don't look at the eclipse. Prison break. Granite footwork. Heal no more. Don't be for dust. Grotesque guardian speed triatil. Grotesque guardian speed chaser. Wait. I think that one might be it. How much did I need? 138. Hold up, I'm just confused because we just got so many points, by the way. For just one kill. Yeah, we did 7 out of 15. So we failed getting hit by lightning attacks and that also made it so we failed the perfect kill. And now, if we just focus on 20 kills without leaving the instance, I think we are gonna do great. Okay, so we now successfully avoided the lightning, but we still didn't do the perfect kill. Ah, there we go. Perfect grotesque guardians as well. We need to kill 16 more in this trip. No, 124. Not fast enough for the speed task, but we're doing pretty good so far, actually. If I hit here, this is it. Bam, done. Not done. Damn it. Ah, uh, however, I did do the 10 kills in a row. Uh, let's just go ahead and do 10 more. Hold it, this has to be the kill. If I hit twice here big, that's one. And if I hit one more, it's done. Boom, bam. Sadness. Boom, bam. Could still be it. Yeah, see, if it was the first time, I think it would be it. It wasn't meant to be. Ah, I was not even looking. What did I just get? I got a dragon man helm and the granite ring. Lovely. Uh, not very useful, unfortunately. Sleep deprivation is kicking me a bit. Seven more kills, though. We got this. I'm getting like all the pop-ups possible, man. I'm getting like Gmalls and shit. None of this will ever be useful, unfortunately. 120. Oh, I think I need 119, don't I? Oh, never mind, I did it. Nice, I think it's a perfect time. I think it's exactly 120 you need for the Grandmaster task. So that's gonna be a big boost in points there. 200 extra. Beautiful. And if we were to take a quick look 
right now in my combat achievements, 11 out of 15, 25 KC on that one, 50 KC on that one, oh shit, I need to do 5 perfect ones in a row, and then 20 without leaving the instance, I did not know I need to do 5 perfect ones in a row, I guess I can start working on that as well, there it is, that should be 20 in a row in one instance, and that is one of the most annoying tasks completed here. Once again, a bunch of points bonus. But now I need to do five perfect kills in a row without mistake. We're gonna be banking first before we go ahead and attempt that though. Very cool though. Very beautiful trip. Look at the inventory. 1.6 mil. Looking very good. If you do not want to miss future uploads, consider subscribing. Alright, we just got a granite hammer. I don't actually think that's a good drop, I'll be honest here. It's shining, but uh, it doesn't really do anything for us, so never mind, we keep on going. I'm really struggling with five perfect kills in a row. I'ma be honest, I mess up just about every second kill right now. But we keep on trying. I think we've done it. Oh, please, just hit here and we're good. Alright, that should be the fifth perfect kill in a row. I really locked in, there's no way it isn't. Come on, show it to me, please. Tell me it is done. Boom! Five perfect kills in a row. Oh my goodness, I hate tasks like this. Because you need to be locked in for like seven minutes and not get hit a single time with anything wrong. If we refresh right now, the points are looking beautiful. Let's take a look at our combat achievements for Grotesque Guardians. Look at this, 14 out of 15. It could not be better. All we need right now. Look, everything is green. It's just 50 KC. Let's push for this and the point bonus will be massive. With these granite gloves, we've now pretty much good in luck the grotesque guardians minus the pet. We've obtained everything, we got 8 more kills to go for a big point boost, currently chilling on 152.9. I'm pretty happy with where we're at at the moment. Ladies, gentlemen, my eyes hate me, my heart does not like me, my head hurts and my hands are twitching. But, 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 watch this. The points are climbing. Wait for it. Boom! Hold up. Oi, what was that? 700 points? Oi, 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 that's the easiest 700 points we've ever gotten. Beautiful. If I were to refresh, I'm rank 20 right now. And with that, I'm now gonna go to sleep a couple of hours. By the time I wake up, I'm probably back to rank, I don't know, bad rank. But we have 16 hours left, I'm thinking 3 hours sleep maybe, something like that. And then we run it back and I left basically all the achievement diaries for the very end. And I also left some Han left for the very end as well. That should hopefully be my cue to front page. 153.6 thousand points. And a long AFK woodcutting session after that I did not do on my PC, but on phone instead. Here is 99 woodcutting as well. 300 points for this one. Let's lock in and do some diaries right now. Oh yeah, and I have 12 hours left to go. I'm back on Sarachnis and I'll be here till 99 defense. And after that, I'll do the diaries. I just want to finish it because everything is 99. There we go, a few more hits. I'm honestly pleasantly surprised at how decent Sarachnis is for XP with Scythe. There's 99 defense and 126 combat. I've done all of that on Slash, not even on Crush, and it's been pretty good, not gonna lie. I'll stay here for like two more kills, and then we go do a bunch of random tasks for points. Up to 154,000.400. That is Elite and Hard Diaries completed in Karamja. How many points? So I didn't get the bonus yet, I need to do all the other diaries first. It's super late at night, I don't commentate a lot, but with this skill Karamja hard is also completed. I'm going backwards. If I finish this medium, we get a ton of points. No way, 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 I gotta go to her, yes. Oh, one in a hundred right here, yes, that's what we needed, now I can actually do these diaries. 155,300 points, let's take a look at the point difference. I've now completed every single Karamja diary. Ooh, we got like 600 for that, that is perfect. Let's go ahead and claim a lot of XP. And there it is, the tier 4 Karamja gloves, another elite diary completed. Let's put a lot of XP over to agility. That's 50, that's 100. And that's 500,000. We're almost 98. On to Fremenic Diaries. 
this is elite tier completed. However, if I want to claim these rewards, I need to do so many like other things. And it's funny how I finished elite before I did anything else. I will go ahead and probably do all the quests that I need to do. And that is Fremenic Easy completed as well. I had to start this quest in order to kill Brian's rat for the diary, but also let's go ahead and use this on agility. I thought that would give me 100k XP. I am trolling. And that is Olaf quest completed. And there we have it. Horror from the Deep also completed. I will be needing that for some task later on. 98 agility, just one more level to go. Can it be done? Either I do two hours of running or I put more XP lamps on it. We'll just have to wait and see. And that is Between a Rock completed. I don't really care about XP, but most importantly, we did the diary task. And that's Throne and Miscellanea. I need that as a last quest for my diaries. And that is Heart task completed. And I'm just one task away from the medium tasks as well. We're about to get insane amount of points, but we're up to 157,000. There's no shot. I'm just trying to do my task, brother man. Relax. I could tab, but I know way I'm tabbing. Okay, I might be tabbing. Because he doesn't know I have the sigil of last recall. He's not ready for the technology. Trust me, he's not ready for the technology. That's why we bring the sigil of the last recall. So we can go right back there when he does not expect it. All right, it's been one minute. Let's see if he's smart or if he's not smart. He's not smart. We're chilling. And that should be every single Relica task completed. And the points? We basically got 500 extra. And now we get all the lamps as well. All right, speaking to Torodin, we're getting a bunch of lamps again. You guys already know what we're doing. Agility, 75k. Agility, 150k. Oh, we're gonna get it. Agility is gonna be done. Let's move on to a new diary. Wow, amazing. Their spirit of the elite also completed and I've done the task at the same time. There it is, 99 agility done as well. Look at these stats. We're rank four overall in the game when it comes to just raw stats and I think they look absolutely beautiful. That also gives me extra bit of points. We're now on 158.1. I think we are definitely making the top 25, 100%. Now the sigil of life will be removed and we're just gonna put something else on. We just completed the easy tasks for desert and we're just gonna keep on pushing. I can get a lot of these tasks done, but I do think I need to do a Nakra's Lament still. Ugh. All right, one more quest. Let's get it done. All right, there we go, Anakra's Lament also completed. We did all of that so we would get the Camulet. Beautiful. Who would have thought that for the last six hours of Deadman mode, I'll be running around the game doing combat achievements. But there is a hard one completed and the medium one is very simple as well. That's the medium diary completed as well. If we look at my desert tasks, the only thing missing is speaking to the cake you had in your POH, you need to get a very rare drop from the boss. As you can see from my diaries, I'm going top to bottom and I'm clearing absolutely everything I can. And that's what I'm gonna do for the last six hours of Deadman mode to make sure I ensure a spot as a front page player. We're now gonna go back to Shantae, claim a bunch of rewards and I think I'm throwing everything onto Slayer. I'm definitely not finishing mining. I'm definitely not doing any rune crafting or any hunting for the rest of this tournament. And one more into Slayer, there it is. Okay, let's move on and attempt to do a bunch of Kandarin Diaries. I'm just hoping I don't need to do any more quests. Elemental Workshop 2 seems to be the only quest that I need to do. Let's go ahead and do that one and then we'll do all the tasks that we can. Hey, and there is Elemental Workshop 2 completed alongside the Diary because we just made a Mind Helmet. I do believe I now have everything in order to complete all of these diaries. Oh boy, right, let's get it done. That is all the easy task done. And there it is, we completed another diary. So if I look into Kandarin right now, there's two tasks remaining. I fully finished easy, medium, and now I just need to kill a Mithril Dragon. And then I need to get chewed bones from Mithril Dragons. That is one and that is two. I guess we're still putting it in Slayer. Yeah, we might as well. We're gonna get one more Slayer level. I, I don't care about the four points I would get from a mining level, do I? Let's just put it on Slayer. Might as well. All right, let's change the gear a little bit. Finish the Barbarian training and make sure we can actually access the Mithril Dragon layer. For the very next part, we have to kill Mithril Dragons and hope for a one in 42 drop of Chewed Bones. 
That is the last thing I need in order to fully complete Kandarin Diaries. And these diaries are really good because my bolts will proc more often. We're going to be playing range whilst using the Super Antifier. And we are running Meticulousness, Revoked Limitation and Thralls. We start off by completing Hard Diaries. And now we need Chewed Bones. Actually unreal. Second kill by the way. <laughs> I need to screenshot this and send it to my mate. There is no shot. It's so easy. Beautiful. Alright, let's uh, finish the Elite Diaries then. There it is, Elite Diaries completed as well, look at the points. Oh, I think we got like 700 again, and we get a Super Strength mix, never gonna use that. Oh man, it's beautiful, we're definitely gonna make it. There is something about how good this looks, like I'm literally completing every single task in the game right now. I do have 4 hours left on the tournament, and I just wanna surprise the competition a little bit, you know? When originally we were battling for 25th, I'm now battling for rank 13 or something crazy like that. But, let's go ahead and claim this lamp, you guys already know we are gonna be putting this one on Slayer as well. The future ones I'm gonna be spreading around, maybe just a little bit in mining, a little bit in runecrafting, just to get like a level or two, because I don't plan on skilling. But yeah, happy to have this done, over 160k, let's move on to the next diary. Wait, I didn't realize I'm trolling. I did not actually claim the elite rewards. Okay, so there we go. There's the elite rewards. There's the Slayer XP, 500,000. I can now kill Hydra, which is one of the next things we're gonna do. And that's why we put XP in the Slayer. I mean, in hindsight, I probably could have just boosted it anyways, but it's fine. And just like that, we're only killing one. We're not doing anything more than that. Elite task completed. I'm now at a point where this top part looks good, but this bottom part is not gonna look good, and I'm committing to it not looking good, but what I will do is I'll just complete the elite tasks, because, well, for Kurend, I would need to complete 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 quests, and I think they're like 10 minutes each, and then another one here for the Forsaken Tower, and I have completed all the elites, I will probably complete most of the hards as well, I just CBA. And looking at the Mauritania as well, I'm now working on just any elite tasks I can do because they give a lot of points. I'm on 161,000, which currently would put me as a rank 18 in Deadman mode, which is very good. So I'm just gonna keep on doing tasks. Maybe I'll change my mind and do those quests with like two hours left, but I'm getting very tired because these tasks are very tedious, but they have to be done. It's the best way for me to make points right now. So have to do it. Alright, we did a very quick Barrows run because I need to open a chest wearing a full set. In this case, we're wearing full Varax. Good luck us. We get nothing, but we get an elite task, which is what matters. Bang. Okay, elite task done. I think I've done all elites. No, I still need to kill a spiritual mage. Should be simple enough. Okay, so that should be mage. Of course, I get a Cumanical key on the first thingy. Now I need to kill a Warrior as well. And then I need to kill a Bloodveld as well. That should be the last thing. There we go. And we keep on going. But I have done Elite Diaries in Wilderness completely. I will probably try to do the entire Easy, Medium, Hard and Elites on the Wilderness. I think they're pretty doable. It's just this, like, casting spells on another player. That's, like, really annoying. Two hours and 45 minutes separating us from the closure of the servers. I'm gonna do a, a strong logout right now. We're gonna do a logout. We're gonna check the rank. And then I'm gonna just do a little bit of Crystalline Hunt left, finish 20kc. We are rank 18 at the moment. I think it is safe to say we should be safely on the top 25. And if you guys don't know why is this guy hunting for top 25 so much, basically this way I make my chance of actually winning money rewards the highest I can. Uh, the only better option would be if I was top 5. Uh, but we got some absolute turbo demons here in the top 5 department, so I understand my strengths and I understand my weaknesses, so I figured I can be a top 25 player and this is what I was gunning for and looks like we should be able to do it. Really, it's just man on Zia that could overcome, but even then, we have a good amount of points over the rank 26 right now. I know exactly what I'm gonna do, and it's not gonna be doing five more kills of this because I'm honestly bored. But what I will do is I'll do some Zolra. There is currently two hours left on the tournament, and the prices of items such as Twisted Bow or perhaps a Shadow are borderline zero. So I think I'm gonna use a Twisted Bow and just do range only Zolra and chill for the last hour instead of just running around doing diaries and whatnot. So let's go ahead and do that and see how it feels. Yeah, so I got a speed chaser, but not the actual fastest one that I needed. 
a bit unlucky, but that just makes me want to maybe stay here until I get the speed task and then call it. But that's already a decent increase in points. So yeah, just, just gonna keep on pushing. We have one hour and 40 minutes left. I think at this point I'm just committed to Zoldra. I could go back and do more diaries, but I don't want to do diaries. It, they literally disappear in one hour. So like, let's try to get this speed task and uh, once that is done, I'll call it. I had a really decent attempt, but then I hit uh, so many zeros. I don't know if that's enough. Ah, uh, very close. 59 this time around. Just to put it in perspective, the time we're trying to hit is 54 seconds. So this time we were five seconds too short. All right, we got another task for getting 25 KC then. Oh, it isn't, but I get a Serp Helm. That is so good, by the way. Serp Helm goes for like... Uh, I could probably stop this for 07. This is one of the best things you can take into the final hour, basically. Yeah, the last one sold for 80 million. Obviously, the prices are completely ridiculously enhanced, but this definitely holds decent value. I think this is it. I think this is where I'm gonna call it. There's no reason to further stress. We end it on 162,512 points. I'm gonna spend the next few minutes organizing the bank, spending the last of my uh, reward points, getting a bunch of brews, stuff like that, and I'll showcase you guys the gear for the final hour. The reason why I stopped PVMing early, first of all, I don't believe I could drop under the rank 25, but second of all, there are small things that are very important to do before the start of the final hour. And that includes stuff as buying enough runes for the multi-fight, utilizing your coins, buying the soul runes, death runes, like all this stuff, right? We're gonna need some water runes as well. Luckily, I do have a divine rune pouch now, uh, which makes it so I can store all of these items. Very good. With one hour left on the deadman mode, I decided, you know what, it's time to fully prepare the account for the multi-stage. I will be rocking with Arcane Swiftness, Pious Protection, and most likely Sigil of the Well-Fed. I might change this one around, depending how the finals will look like. If they're throwing in a bunch of mobs, maybe Titanium could be good, but I doubt it. So I think this is a safe option to go with. When it comes to my gear, we're just going full magic defense as much as possible. Arma, Chain, Skirt, Kari, Leather Top. We got a Crystal Shield with Zuriel Staff for the big heals. We got Suffering. We got Boots of Brimstone, Barrows Gloves, and Serb Helm. Very nice setup. I could upgrade it into Mazori if I wanted, but it's a multi-fight. The difference between Mazori and Karil is really not that big. And then I also have an Ancestral Switch. This is most of the times where I'll probably be in, unless I'm obviously tanking. And we are gonna be obviously changing the inventory a little bit, adding in some pinning necklaces, adding in some combo food. But just to quickly show what it is that we are losing, man, it is sad to see zero items get transferred this time around a bunch of money twisted but look at all this gear all of this is completely useless none of this will ever be used unfortunately but yeah i'm gonna fast forward one hour and we're gonna check the leaderboards and we're gonna see where we ended up this deadman mode all right that's it the inventory is confirmed this is the final setup I'm gonna be banking construction cape for the brew once we push to multi. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six restores. Uh, maybe I take another restore, honestly. The rest is fine. So, that's the setup. This is how I'm gonna go into multi with. We'll see how it goes. I'm excited. But most importantly, it was fun two weeks of deadman mode. We have gone and done it. We secured the rank 18 spot. And with that, we have a 1 in 12 chance to get $1,000 for this deadman mode. Now, I'll get a long sleep and I'll be ready for tomorrow's multi fight. If you follow the series and you stuck to with me until the end, thank you very much. We have a ton of things planned for the very near future on this channel. Usually I would just play Deadman mode and then take a long break. But this time we actually have a lot of things planned for weeks to come after the MM. So if you want to support me, make sure to subscribe. But if you want to support me even further, do consider checking out our membership program. You can get some very awesome perks and even watch videos days in advance. And it simply helps me out big time. Thank you once again and uh, have a good one. Bye-bye.